So this our question says that uh, PQ P square plus Q square plus R square is equal to 49 right? and X square plus Y square plus Z square is 64. All variables are real and positive. PX plus QY plus RZ is <clears throat> 56. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. My throat is a bit. <coughs> now, if you see here, so basically, if you understand this point, it is 49, right? So basically, what is what we observe in this? This is 49, okay? It is 64, that is 7 is square. It is 8 is square, and it is 7 into 8. So this is the kind of pattern to observe in this kind of question, actually. Okay. So <clears throat> once you once you want to solve, right? So let's solve by, by both the methods here. So uh, let's put here method one. So method is more of a method one is more of a algebra method, typical algebra. How do you combine this? So we'll think now, think like this: that something seven into some eight is some fifty-six here, right? Now, if I want to think in the direction, so let me just write this equation as like if you divide by seven, right? So what I'll get, guys? I'll get here. Can I, if I divide by seven, can I write like this? P square by forty-nine plus Q square by forty-nine and plus I square by forty-nine equal to one, and then I can write P by seven whole square plus Q by seven whole square plus R by seven whole square is equal to one this can be my equation number one okay because I, I i can sense it something i multiply i need to multiply these two equations right so like seven into eight is 56 something like that okay now similarly this equation can be written right this one if i divide this by 64 then i can write here x by 8 is square plus uh y by 8 is square plus z by 8 is square is equal to again one this is my equation number two actually right and similarly can i write this equation as a uh, px by 56 plus qy by 56 and plus uh, rz by 56 is equal to one okay and basically what i want this to multiplication right this is this is something p by seven here so p by 7 into x by 8 is p x by 56 right so i should basically write like this here p by 7 into q by 8 okay so directly write like this now p by 7 into q by 8 so write like p by 7 sorry not q by 8 x by 8 okay p by 7 into x by 8 plus uh, q by 7 into y by 8 plus uh, r by 7 into z by 8 here okay this is what this is this is uh, equation number 3 i can say correct so you can observe it guys okay so basically now you just try to understand because i need to find the value of your p plus q to x plus y okay so it can sense it sense here that okay this is if we, if we just manipulate 1 2 and 3 here but this uh, this equation is like a if i just try to observe this is like a is square okay uh, in the form let's write in the form of what in the a form of a is square in the form of b is square in the form of c a into b actually a into b so if i want to further factorize it so let me can i write this in the form of what uh, a a plus b a uh, a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square right? So while deciding what to do that a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square, right? So let's I, I'll show you, right? This is this, this generally in, in the standard form of what a minus b whole square. So let me just uh, solve it here, guys. I'll show you why it is why I took a minus b and not a plus b. Okay. So now uh, I, how can how I can manipulate it actually? You can just see here that what I'll do. I'll just like uh, equation one plus uh, I'll add these two equation and minus two times equation three. Okay, so it's like 1 plus 2 and minus 2 times equation 3. Okay, equation 1 plus equation 2 minus 3 times equation 3, 2 times equation 3 because a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So basically I can write this equation as p by 7 whole square huh, plus uh, x by 8 whole square minus twice of p by 7 into x by 8. Now you got this term. What is this term, guys? You got this term, na? This a square plus b square minus two ab, and this I can write as what? A minus b whole square, right? So this I can write as p by seven minus x by eight whole square. 
okay so p by 7 minus x by 8 whole square correct and then i can get the value here p by 7 minus x by 8 whole square similarly this one the second one i can write as <clears throat> uh, q by 7 minus y by 8 whole square similarly in a, in a similar way i can write here that second one actually and third one i can write r by 7 minus z by 8 whole square this i can write here okay that's the third one and this should be equal to zero right so once this sum of three perfect squares is zero that means individually all are zero right that means individually all are zero because perfect square can never be negative sum of three perfect squares is zero or three squares is zero so basically all are individually zero so i can write like now if if p by 7 minus x by 8 is zero that means p by 7 is equal to x by 8 and similarly q by 7 minus y by 8 equal to 0 that means q by 7 is equal to y by 8 correct right so i can come till this place Anna. now i can write p uh which this, this is both are 7 by 8 right so i can write like okay p by x is equal to 7 by 8 and p by x and q by y also 7 by 8 so q by y is equal to p by x 7 by 8 and i need to find find the value of p plus q to x plus y ratio that means p plus q right so basically it's a law of fraction you know right uh, we know this right obviously because whenever we have uh, if a by b is equal to c by d then a plus c upon this is equal to a plus c upon b plus d right because basically we add both numerators and denominators it, it is equal to same fraction here right same thing i can apply here so basically if, if these two are equal so i can write a uh, p plus q upon x plus y it is equal to 7 by 8 7 by 8 is the answer for this question right so that's the first method to solve this kind of question if we could have this question in theta also because of course in theta they can give uh, this kind of options right let's say a by b and they'll write that in the box find write the value of a plus b <clears throat> Okay, so 15 would be the answer, right? right. So this is where we need to proceed, right? So basically the thing, main point to observe here was this is 7 is square, this is 8 is square and this is 7 into 8. Okay, so this is how this is a standard algebraic form. Okay, we should, uh, we actually should know it, right? We actually should know it. Okay, how do you solve it? Fine. Now, if, if I further, uh, if I also go by, learn in this question, I can assume, let's say, we have some options given here. Okay. So method one was if there are no options and all right, the general method. If we have options given here and for example, let's say the options are, uh, could be one, could be five by eight, could be uh, seven by eight, could be three by four and could be, uh, let's say two, something like that, okay. So obviously now, now we know the answer seven by eight, right? But okay, so basically if options are there, then in this kind of complex equ uh, equ equation, so you can always use a common sense actually. Now what common sense I can use here, I know that these all variables are real and positive, right? Okay, real and positive. So basically what I'll, I'll try to see that, I need the value of P plus Q upon X plus Y. Okay, so once I need the value of P plus Q upon X plus Y, what I will think here that, ki, let's say if I need P plus Q so for time being here, I just try to make any one variable almost zero. I know it is variable are real and positive, right? It's like it's almost like 0 0.00001. It's almost zero, 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 right? Okay. So if two of the variables are almost zero, then the value of P becomes seven, right? So if two of the variables are almost zero, the value of P becomes seven. Okay, seven plus zero, I can write. And similarly for X plus Y, okay? So two of the variables Y and Z, let, let they are almost zero like 0 0.0001, 0 0.0001, like that, okay. So x will be like 8, hey na? so it will be like 8 plus 0. So you'll get the answer as what? 7 by 8, okay. And then you can mark C option here. And also also this combat, guys, okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions, okay. So the easy questions are, are not asked here, so it basically, it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions 
we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% also sir great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you